How to fix your account cannot be created at this time. Apple ID problem. So if you're trying to create an Apple account or an Apple ID account directly on your iPhone or iPad, but you get this error message, then I'll show you a couple of fixes for this problem. The first solution to this is to check if you have a fast and stable internet connection. I'm going to open my control center, and if you're using a Wi-Fi connection and it's slow, it's unstable or similar, then you'll want to switch to your mobile data for a couple of minutes until you create your Apple ID account. Or if you're already using mobile data, turn it off and then switch to a Wi-Fi connection instead. Just make sure that it's fast and that it's stable. If your internet connection was slow when you tried to create the Apple account, then that's probably the reason on why you got this error message. The second thing that can cause this issue is if we're connected to a VPN or a virtual private network. Open the settings on your iPhone, then open this VPN section, which should be under the battery option. And as you can see, I have the VPN option enabled, and I'm connected to a virtual private network. This option can be pretty useful because we can change our country or region by masking the IP address, but this can cause the issue when we're trying to create our Apple ID account. So what I suggest doing is turning off and disconnecting from the VPN, and go ahead and try to create your Apple account. Solution number three is to go back to the main settings page on iPhone, then open General, Software Update, and now you'll want to check if you have any new software updates for your device. If you do have a new software update, I suggest that you update your phone to the latest iOS version, and this can help us because it can solve bugs, glitches, and other things which can prevent us from creating our account. Also, regularly updating your iOS software version can fix other issues which you may have. Let's get back and then go to the general section one more time. Scroll a bit down and find this date and time option. Make sure that your iPhone's date and time are set correctly. The best thing which you can do is to set this to automatic, and then your phone will always be synced to the correct time and date in your time zone. If you've set this manually for some reason, that can cause problems during the account creating process. I have two other solutions for you, so follow my steps. Go back to the main settings page and then open the general section one more time. Once on the general page, go down until you see this option called transfer or reset iPhone. Let's tap on reset and then reset all settings. Reset all settings on an iPhone restores all system settings such as Wi-Fi passwords, wallpaper, notifications, and privacy settings to their default state without deleting your apps, data, or files. This can be useful if your iPhone is experiencing glitches or behaving oddly, as it provides a fresh start for the settings. However, keep in mind that you'll need to reconfigure your preferences. Like reconnecting to Wi-Fi networks and re-enabling features like Face ID or Touch ID. Also, any customizations you've made, such as accessibility settings, will need to be set up again. So after we reset all of our settings, simply go over to your web browser and then go over to the website called appleid.apple.com. From here, you'll want to tap on the arrow and then create your Apple account. The last step is to enter your information correctly, and you should be able to create your account. I'll leave a step-by-step -step tutorial in the description of this video on how you can create your Apple ID account, so make sure you watch it if you're still having issues. Also, if you have any other solutions to this problem, make sure you leave them in the comments down below so we can help more people.